The Moore County Sheriff's Office has worked its fair share of fatal accidents in the past year. KAMR Local 4's Jason Britz joins us in studio and has more on how they've received some much needed help to patrol those areas. Yeah, that's right. Recently, the Moore County Sheriff's Office was the recipient of the Selective Traffic Enforcement Program and the Commercial Motor Vehicle Grants from the Texas Department of Transportation, which totaled $25,000. That grant money will cover overtime pay for sheriff's deputies to patrol more regularly the what are dubbed high fatality zones of Moore County. According to Lieutenant Brandon Jones with the Moore County Sheriff's Office, there were 16 fatalities on Moore County roadways last year. Lieutenant Jones says that this will allow them to cover those high fatality zones without losing out on any other area of patrol. Our regular patrol will be out and they'll be answering calls during the regular duties and when these guys are working the step grant they'll be focusing on those specific areas they won't be answering any other calls they'll just be focusing on those uh, fatality zones within Moore County so that'll be their main focus for patrol that on that particular step grant day. Lieutenant Jones also says that while this won't completely stop any more fatal accidents from happening, it's a big step in the right direction and hopes that it will bring the tragic number of fatalities down. In the studio, Jason Bridge, KAMR Local 4 News. Lieutenant Jones says some of those high fatality zones in the county are at the intersection of 119 and 1284 near the Valero Refinery and the 287 and 287 close to the Cotton Gin.